How do cycles of concentration increase? We start by filling a cooling tower with fresh makeup water. Then we measure the level of elements in that water to determine its concentration, represented here by the two yellow dots in the tower. If the cooling tower evaporates 50% of the water, that pure water enters the atmosphere and is naturally recycled. However, the elements in the tower water remain behind in half the water volume. Fresh makeup water is added to the tower to replace the water that evaporated. This also adds 50% more elements to the tower water, increasing its concentration to one and a half times that of the makeup water. The tower is now said to be at one and a half cycles of concentration. If the tower evaporates half the water again, and fresh water is added to replenish the loss, the elements in the tower water will have increased another 50%. The tower now has twice the elements as the incoming water, which represents two cycles of concentration. As this process repeats, system cycles will continue to increase until they are controlled through bleed off or they reach the concentration limit of the cooling tower. Controlling cycles of concentration and the elements in water are extremely important to the operation of a cooling tower. When the elements in water concentrate to a level that exceeds the saturation point of the water, they fall out of the solution and form scales.